Hi everyone, I am going to do a fall makeup tutorial for you guys. This is going to be like a really warm makeup tutorial and of course you guys can modify this using products that you have and if I go a little too heavy for you guys, then you guys can always lighten it up. You guys don't have to do exactly what I do. I'm just here for guidance and I really love wearing a lot of makeup so I tend to kind of kick it on. I already filled in, filled in my eyebrows and applied foundation. So I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. It's like a whipped sort of like liquid foundation in here. But I'll have those products listed down below, down to the brushes and the shades that I'm using and all that good stuff. If you guys didn't know, I don't know when I'll have this video up, hopefully today or tomorrow. But my birthday just passed on September 10th. I am officially 23 years old. A lot of people think that I'm in my late 20s, which is, you know, no problem at all, but I'm seriously not. I started YouTube when I was like 18, 19 years old. I had an okay birthday. It was very toned down. I didn't do anything crazy. I'm not a party animal anyways. Give me some Cheesecake Factory and I'm good. Let's go get started with the tutorial. I'm gonna start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and this one is in Eden, which is the nude matte. So first I'm taking a really warm brown and this is Mocha Eyeshadow from Motives. And then I'm gonna take this brush by NYX, something really ideal for the crease. And I'm just gonna pop this right in the crease. And I'm going to take it all the way in. Then I'm going to go in with this Sonia Kashuk brush and it's a blendy fluffy brush, my favorite. And I'm going to blend out any harsh lines. I'm really sorry if it gets blurry as I'm blending. My camera has autofocus, which is awesome, but I just don't know how to keep it focused when an object is constantly moving. So I really, really apologize for that, but I'm just using small circular motions and going back and forth with a really light hand to blend it out. Now I'm gonna go in with Max Expensive Pink on a flat brush. And I'm gonna just pat this right on my lid. Next, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Sketch and a pencil brush, and this is by Hair and Makeup Addiction. And I'm gonna place this right here on the outer corner of my eye. Then do the same thing on the other side. They should look like this so far. I'm gonna go back in with Mocha and I'm gonna take it on this like dome fluffy brush. I'm gonna apply this more directly above where I put sketch. So most of the color will be right here and then I'm gonna blend it in all the way. Use this right here. Same color and drag it in. I'll go back in with the Sunny Kashuk. Lightly just blend everything. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my under eye concealer and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. My under eye routine could be kind of extreme and maybe a little too bright for you guys, but I personally love this kind of highlight on myself because I do feel like I have dark circles and yeah, it makes me feel much better. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Sketch, which was the purple, and I'm gonna take it on this tiny detailed brush and I'm gonna run this on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Mocha with the same brush. I'm gonna start on the center of my lower lash line. And you could um, smoke out the bottom lash line as much as you want to. 
I'm gonna take this M Cosmetics and this is by Michelle Fun. And this is her sparkling shadow top coat. I love this packaging. This is the only product I've ever tried from her line because I think I got this from Beautycon in a goodie bag. I think her packaging for this is super cute because I love how it's kind of like a dome and I just think this is super duper cute. And this is what it looks like. I think it's really, really pretty. I absolutely love this shade. It really reminds me of Max Vanilla Pigment. I'm gonna take a bit of that on this brush right here. This is also by Hair and Makeup Addiction, and it's the slanted one. And we're gonna place this right on my tear duct. I'm gonna take this NYX pencil in Golden Bronze, and it looks like this. And this is a really pretty bronzy color. I'm gonna place this on my lower waterline. Now for my eyeliner. This is the Super Skinny Marker by NYX, and it's in black, and it looks like that. I really love these eyeliners because they are very precise. They stay put, they don't smudge, they don't smear, they don't budge or anything until you take them off. And I'm not just saying that because I was in the NYX Face Awards. I'm saying that because I've had this amazing opportunity to try all these different products, and they're awesome. I like to start in the center. And then I slowly make my way in, and then I'm just going to draw a wing, and then I'll go above, and then I'm going to fill it in, and it should look just like that. To finish off the eyes, if you want to wear lashes, go ahead and do so. I'm going to go in with my Tarte's Lights Camera Splashes Mascara, which is my favorite. The packaging looks different. Um, the purple is exactly the same, but it used to just have a yellow anchor, kind of like a stitched yellow anchor right at the bottom, but now it says Lights Camera Splashes with a little anchor right there, and then it says Tarte. So, um, it looks a little bit different, and I almost passed it up in Ulta. If you are a fan of that mascara as well, it does look a bit different. Maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough, but yeah. So I'm going to apply mascara. And don't forget your bottom lashes. So that just about wraps up the eyes. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of our face. I'm going to take a teeny tiny bit of Benefits Hula Bronzer on a Sigma 3... What is the name of this? F35. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to take a little bit. Sculpt out my cheekbones. Um, and I'm just going to use a little bit because I'm going to go in with a bronzer. But I love Hula because it's not super ashy, but it's not very warm either. So it's that nice medium, and I really love that on my skin tone. So I'm just using that to kind of contour and sculpt out my cheekbones. And then I'm going to go in with a NYX bronzer. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I have a medium here, and I have, uh, hmm, what is this? Dark tan, and I think when I used dark tan, it was a bit on the red side, so let me go in with medium. And I'm going to use the same brush. I don't know how you guys feel about the winter time, um, but I will be a huge fan of bronzer. I'm sure you guys want to be a little on the tan side, so I'm going to go in with a bronzer. And these have won awards. I really love medium on me. I really like this bronzer. This is awesome. So again, that was shade medium because there are quite a couple shades, like six or seven. I may be wrong, but there's like a good range of shades. Um, so for my blush, I'm going to go in with the new Benefit Rocketeur blush. Super awesome packaging and look how gorgeous this is. Beautiful. And I'm going to use my MAC 159 brush. You can use any blush brush you desire. And this is a rose gold blush. I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. And I chose this because I love its tone. It's kind of like uh, mauve-y, pinky um, with a rose gold um, 
sheen to it. And I chose that because for my lips, I'm going to go a little dark. Now, you could totally skip my lips when I should be saying this when I <laughs> pull out my lip products. But um, I chose this shade because I love the tone, like the rosy tone. But it's not too much because I was going to go in with um, a different blush actually. But I love this way more because it's just enough. Um, at first, when I first got this, I was using it as a highlight because I was like, oh my god, this bad boy is not going to show up on my cheeks. Like, this is totally just a highlight. But I am wrong because I love this against my skin tone. Really, really pretty. So, I love that blush. And now, for my lips, you could totally wear nude lips. It's all up to you because you guys might think that going with darker lips going to be a little too much but I'm going to go with the darker lips because I'm just more comfy wearing more makeup anyway so I really don't care. <laughs> if you personally feel like there's so much going on with the eyes and it's a little too heavy for you to rock then just, oh my god my lips are dry, then just go ahead with uh, nude lips. For my lip liner I'm going to go in with NYX's Deep Purple. I've always been a huge fan of the NYX lip liners because they're really great quality um, and they don't even cost that much. So. I'm going to go in with deep purple. I'll start on my bottom lip. And then I'm going to just shade in the corners. So I'm still leaving the center untouched, even though it kind of like blended out and stuff. I'm already loving where this lip is going, so I'm going to go in with Max Viva Glam. This is a frost lipstick. This is the Viva Glam 4. And you can see here, this is like a frosty, um, like reddish plum. So I'm going to take some on my brush and apply this in the center. And that is my lip. I love dark colors on the lips. Again, you don't have to go this dark with the lips. It's just my personal preference. So this concludes my fall makeup tutorial for you guys. I really love this. I love the warm shape on the eyes and the dark lips. Um, it just screams fall for me. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. I will have a full product list of everything used down below in the info bar. So make sure you check that out. Here's a closer look. If you guys were wondering where my giveaway is, I do have a giveaway planned for you guys. It's still in the works, still planning it out, um, but just expect a lot of awesome goodies. Oh, and I'm also waiting for some more of the prizes to come in the mail um, because I ordered some more goodies. That is all, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Mwah.